All right, I've got a quick tip for you and we are just gonna get right into it. Today we are talking about cleaning your drum heads, which is something that I didn't even realize was possible until recently. We all know, of course, about cleaning cymbals, but I was hipped to this particular method recently and was amazed at how well it worked and how I had somehow never heard of it before. So instead of waffling on for five minutes, I'm just going to give you the information you came here for. You need a melamine, or maybe it's pronounced melamine, I'm not sure, a melamine pad, which is also commonly known as a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. That's the brand name that they're sold under, but you can get these, you can get generic versions very, very cheaply and very, very easily. I'll, I'll put some links down in the description. And I don't know exactly what they are, but they're just these little foam rectangles. I think they're like really, really fine sandpaper. But um, if you haven't used these around the house, they're also really good for just cleaning things around your house. But apparently, they're also really good for cleaning your drum heads. Now, we're not talking about dents and that sort of thing, obviously. We're talking about the kind of stuff that you can see here on my Ludwig Acrolyte. Um, it's this sort of gray and brown buildup that you get from your stick marks. By the way, I'm not really sure why the head changes color when you start accumulating stick marks. Maybe someone can answer that question for me. But um, all of this sort of stuff that, that makes it look like an old, worn head, you can pretty effectively clean off with these melamine pads. So let's just do this together. All you need is the pad, and then um, you need to just wet it a little bit. So I'm gonna try and not get water on everything. You just need it to be damp. So I'm going to dip it in the water here. Just kind of wring it out so that it is just damp. And then we'll head over to the second angle here. You can see, I'm just gonna start, just gonna start scrubbing. Ooh, you can see especially, yeah, look at that. Especially on the top there. All right, so that was maybe 30 seconds of scrubbing and already it looks way, way better. Of course, I could go for longer and, and make it look even better. Um, and you know, it doesn't quite look like new, but it looks way, way, way better than, uh, than it did before. So um, some questions that I imagine you might have. One question might be, will this wear off the coating? And my assumption is yes, that it does wear off the coating if you were to do this on a brand new head. But if you are at the point where you've got those brown marks or you've got all those stick marks, you've already worn away most of the coating. Um, and even just touching it now, I, I think you could absolutely still play brushes on this. It's not like it's been stripped down past the white coating. So you could still play brushes on it, but yeah, it is, it is definitely smoother after having done this process. So I also don't know if it works on clear heads. I haven't used clear heads in a while, but maybe someone can try it and report back. I know the stick marks will look a little different on clear heads than on coated, um, but of course you wouldn't have to worry about wearing away any of the coating. So that's basically it. I don't really have anything else for you. That's the trick is to get melamine pads. Uh, and like I said, you can get the Mr. Clean ones or you can get the generic version. That's what I was using today. I'll, I'll, I'll give you some links and places that you can find it. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And if it works for you, also let me know. So I uh, hope this helped. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.